guys, welcome back. This is going to be a Moonshine Manny video. We had a number of limited edition items that launched recently on our website and I'm going to swatch them for you so you can make sure to snag the ones that you love before they're gone. So on Friday, we had the new Facebook group custom launch and the MSM comeback. Those are both monthly features that I've been doing on my website for a while. Every month, the Facebook group, we have a poll where people submit images for the rest of the Facebook group members to vote on. And then whichever one gets the most votes, I create a custom polish with that group member. And this month we've made this awesome neon magenta with glowy iridescent flakies and iridescent shimmer. And it's just super, super fun. And actually in that poll, I had Joy name all of the um, images that were up for voting and they were all kind of fun quirky joy names and she named the image that won glow in the dark juice and the Facebook group member Amy who helped me create the polish um, she wanted the polish to still be called glow in the dark juice so this polish doesn't actually glow in the dark it's probably blacklight reactive but it's not technically a glow in the dark polish but it is really bright and glowy so we thought that that would be really cute to still call it that it's one of my favorite pinks I've ever made I really enjoy making pink polish and I've done a lot of it in the last couple months even though pink isn't necessarily one of my favorite colors Pink polish is just super, super fun. It's so bright and playful, and it makes me happy that you guys are really enjoying the pinks too. So if you're a pink lover, you're gonna love Glow in the Dark Juice. So that's the first thing we're gonna swatch. Then we're gonna swatch the MSM Comeback, and for this month, I brought back a polish called Touch the Sky. This was a polish that premiered two Black Fridays ago for our small bat batch creations that I have every Black Friday. And that polish didn't have a recipe because it was kind of like a small batch proto that I was thinking about making for something and it didn't quite fit a collection and so it didn't have a formula. I've created something very very similar. They look pretty near identical to me but it's a 2.0 because I don't know for sure that it's the exact formula. So basically it's kind of like a robin's egg blue or turquoise and it's filled with multi-chrome flakies and iridescent flakies and it's really fun. Touch the Sky. One of my kids named it that. It was probably Joy. Um, so that is back. It's a small batch release again. So the number of polishers that I have on the shelves will be the number sold and then the polisher once again retire. The Facebook group custom will be around for about three and a half weeks. But the MSM comeback does just have the one batch. And on the same day, I launched six new mystery blind bags. If you've not never bought a blind bag from me before, basically they are, again, kind of like protos or small batches, things that I love, but they just didn't fit with the um, collections I have been premiering lately. We do have a lot of nice rich jewel tones in this batch, and we've been going through spring and summer with um, soft pastel-y things and neons and different things like that. So these are just polishes. Um, I really want to swatch them for you because I really, really love all of them, but then that would ruin the mystery. <laughs> so I'm not going to swatch them, but just know that they are six brand new shades and they're all named after some of my favorite movies again, similar to the shades that we had, was it in April, from the, um, that I took with me to Vegas. That's the first time we did these blind bags. So there are six different shades and as long as the website still says if you buy more than six, you will get a repeat, you can know that all six shades are still there, but there is a set number available. Once they sell out, they will also be retiring. Um, so there's the mystery buying bags available to you if you enjoy a little bit of a surprise. I always like a surprise, which is why I do things like this on my website and on my YouTube and things like that. So then the next day we had our monthly mix along. If you were able to come, we had an especially silly, funny time. Um, you can go back and watch the replay if you just wanna hear me laugh for like two solid hours. So our theme was gardening and Tim always joins me for our mix alongs and that's why things get so silly. And so we made four special custom shades with the channel subscribers that came to the event and we made three with the subscribers and one more with the members to the channel if you want to learn any more about membership to this channel there's a little button below the video that says join it's not going to like automatically join you but it'll tell you about what it means to be a member to the channel so we made four gardening inspired polish we have some lovely insect and nature inspired gardening things and they're all kind of soft 
kind of healing greens and blue. A lot of sparkle. We did a lot of hollow this time, so that was really fun. These are also one batch creations, so if you would like any of the items that you are going to see me swatch, then I would recommend you snag them sooner than later. Don't forget on my website that I do flat rate shipping if you live domestically, so you never pay more than $5 for your shipping no matter what you order. And you also get a 10% off discount from your cart. You just add things to the cart. There's no code required. It just gives you a discount if you're ordering three or more items. So that's all my chatting. Let's go ahead and get into the swatching. All right, we're gonna go in alphabetical order with the Swatch Fest customs we made. And then I'm gonna be swatching for you my two Polish Pickup Rewind shades that are launching this Friday. I forgot to mention that we were gonna be swatching those today as well. So I want you to see how they apply. But let's start with the Swatch Fest custom. So this first one is called Butterfly Kisses. It's inspired by that beautiful image of the butterflies all up against that tree. And also remember that with Swatch Fest Customs, we're rolling the dice, we're kind of seeing what we're meant to make for the day <laughs> using a little bit of luck with the die, a little randomization. This polish is a multi-chrome and um, iridescent shimmer duo. It's going through purples, blue, some aqua. We've got pink and purple and blue in the flakies. So that's butterfly kisses. Butterfly kisses. If you're there, if you were there, you know that was the culprit that launched me into like 20 straight minutes of laughing because I was trying to get Tim to remember the song I was talking about and he couldn't think of it. All right, Dragonflies in Disguise is the next shade that um, we used that picture of that dragonfly as inspiration. This polish has a wealth of micro hollow flakies that are building up that silver appearance. It also has shimmer and flakies shifting us through greens, pinks, blues, um, orange, and you can also wear it as a topper. So I swatched it for you first on its own at two coats. You could certainly wear it in two to three coats on its own. It looks really, really pretty that way, but you can wear it as a topper as well. Don't overload your brush and you should still be able to see your bottom polish just fine. So I'm swatching over a couple of polishes in this quad so you can see, and I think it is really, really beautiful both ways. You guys kind of always want a topper during the Swatch Fest mix alongs, and so I'm happy to be able to make a polish that works as a topper or a full coverage polish. Rock the Cosmos, if you were there again, you know, it's not even that funny, like, but in my own brain, it was just so hilarious in the moment. We're inspired here by this beautiful picture of this pink lemonade Cosmos, and so we have this pale pink Crelly. It is filled with um, flakies that are shifting through red, orange, gold. There's a little pink in that flaky too. And then as you can see, micro black matte flakes and micro hollow flakies as well. This one is really soft and pretty. I believe that's pictured there at three coats, but when I swatched it, I wore it at two and I think it looks nice that way too. The fourth polish we made together in the mix along is Suck You Bliss, inspired by this image up here. So I wanted to give this really beautiful silvered um, green metallic, that's what the dice rolled for us, and then add this rainbow of multi-chrome flakies as well to really represent all the colors in that image and I think it turned out really really cool it has linear holographic in it so it's going to be really holographic when you step outside as well I do have an image for you of that and it was almost opaque at one coat so um, yeah this is sucky bliss it's like a really sweet succulent green gray and really really beautiful gonna you're gonna blind everybody with your hollow this summer and next I'm going to swatch for you my Polish Pickup Rewind shades. So Polish Pickup Rewind happens every July where I will bring back two previously released Polish Pickup shades. One, this shade, Sugar Spice and Everything Nice, will return to the Polish Pickup website for regular Polish Pickup Weekend. So that means the first Friday through Monday of the month in July. That's this Friday through Monday. And then the other polish is going to return to my website for the month of July. So this polish is, of course, inspired by the Powerpuff Girls, and it is a nice, bright, um, neon-based pink, and it has iridescent flakies that are shifting from red to orange to gold. It also has iridescent flakies shifting from the same shades. I wanted this polish to really pack a punch, 
pun intended, and um, make you feel really feminine, flirty, and powerful. The next shade, this is the one that is coming back to moonshinemanny.com for the month of July. These were both voted by you guys to return in the Facebook group. And this is a blood red jelly, and this is called Death Becomes Her. It has iridescent flaky shifting red, gold, green, and it also has iridescent micro glitters shifting through red, gold, green that are going to really kind of work together to bring a really beautiful iridescent shifty appearance on the nail, but also be devastatingly gorgeous because we have all of this deep, rich pigment. If you haven't seen the film that this polish is inspired by yet, I definitely recommend it. It's a campy cult classic with Bruce Willis, Goldie Hawn, Meryl Streep. It's so, so cheesy and good and hilarious. And watch it at your earliest convenience. Thanks, everybody, for voting this one to return. All right, guys, so those are all the new items. I just wanted to make sure and get you a swatch of them so you could see how they apply and know if these are things that need to come home with you before they retire off the website. I really appreciate you joining me for this video, and I hope you're having a great day. If you need a hug, I'm sending you a virtual hug right now, sending you some nice, peaceful, calming thoughts today. And I will see you back for another video very soon. Take care until then. Bye.